Hello everyone, this is part two of the Countess's Jewelry Display and today I will be showing you the second half of my collection. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now I can't remember where I got this one from. Um, actually, now I take it back, I do now. Um, I got it on eBay. It's a brooch slash necklace. You can wear it as a brooch. And I think there's a clasp somewhere. Yeah, here it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there where you can wear it as a pendant. Um, it is inspired by the infamous Hope Diamond that is at the Smithsonian. Last time I saw it, the stone was removed from its setting. Um, and it is officially believed, well, actually, it's been proven that it's probably um, the missing stone, and I cannot pronounce the proper name for it, that belonged to Marie Antoinette's husband's family um, that had been shaved down to the Hope Diamond shapes that we know today. And I treasure this. It is not cursed, thank goodness. Um, it does need to be washed, um, and for rhinestones and glass stone jewelry, um, toothpaste and a brush is perfect for the washing. It, I forget what it is that's in the toothpaste, but there's material or some sort of substance in the toothpaste that is very easy for the stones, and when you're done washing them, they're perfect. How I would wash them is a nice toothbrush that you have no intention to use on your teeth afterwards. So when you're done with your old toothbrushes, don't throw them out. You can use them as a jewelry scrubber. So yeah, it's one of my favorites. This one um, I ordered back in 2017 or 2018. I think it's one of three or four stones. There's actually two different, four, three or four different brooches that are this same style but different colors. I used to have a solid white one and then there was one that was pure white and silver and then there was a solid black one and then you had this one. Um, the other three, I don't know what happened to them. I think I must have tossed them out. Um, most of their stones were falling apart. Um, this one, I don't know if it's missing any stones. This is the first time I've actually took this one out for a while, but whenever I wear, wore it, um, I got a lot of compliments. I always make sure that um, I keep the stones that I get the most compliments on. And as I said, COVID has taken that fun time away for the moment. And so this is the time where I like to show off and wash them and put them back so they are well cared for, even though I have not seen this one in a long time. Here's another ring, like the red ring that I showed you. It is also adjustable. And this is a sample of what happens when um, you've adjusted the uh, ring more than it can stand. It's now an odd slightly crooked shape. Um, it is no longer a nice round, but no one will notice that, fortunately. However, once it gets to this state, this is when you want to consider keeping it in that same size for whatever finger. So what I do is whenever I try it on, I always like to see which finger it was that I molded it on, and then whichever one looks perfect, fits perfectly, I will put it on that finger. It is a nice blue. Um, I got it to match the brooch that I just showed you and the other brooch that's based on the Hope Diamond. So this one um, is near its end. Um, it is a hair piece, but I also use it for my ties or to decorate my um, collars with my costume collars or my regular out of uh, character costumes. Um, it's a peacock and most of the stones are gone. I have not worn this in a while 
In fact, this is actually going to be in a recycling um, sale pretty soon, along with another necklace that I'm about to show you that also has a story. Um, I haven't worn this because it's kind of bad juju, and I don't have the heart to throw it out because it's so nice, but I don't want to wear it anymore, and we're thinking about doing a um, recycling sale in our building. I don't know when that's going to happen, probably after COVID, so I'm holding on to it for now because somebody could use it for crafts or something. But yeah, the sooner I get rid of it, the better, but throwing it in the trash would just not be good because, you know, I always believe in reuse and giving away something that has not been good to me may be kind to another person. So this is the necklace that I just mentioned the Juju necklace. I call it the Juju butterfly. There are some stones missing, of course. One of the re one of the few reasons why I want to get rid of it. But I actually did get rid of this necklace once. I do not know why it was given back to me, but I wanted to get rid of it because it's bad Juju. I'm not going to go into details why it's bad Juju, but I had given it to somebody that they could use to perform in and I thought I had gotten, I thought it was a gift, I guess it was intended for a gift. It was intended for a gift to get it off of me, and I guess they gave it back to me. I can't even remember why they gave it back to me, but um, yeah, I uh, thought it was gone. I actually told a friend that I had gotten rid of it, and I thought I did. I literally thought I did. I remember giving this to somebody and said, here, you can have it. But I guess they gave it back to me. So I like the peacock uh, piece that I just showed you. I can't wait to get rid of this one. And I don't know if you heard the little kachin. That's a basically a gemstone that had fallen right here. So, um, yeah, that's about it for that piece. I'm sorry that I showed it to you too quickly. It's just a piece that I cannot stand. And like the brooch... That a peacock brooch, I am going to get rid of it as soon as I can. I just don't want to trash it because you know what could be bad for me could be some could be kindness for another. And we have a guest. Hello, Josette. I have here two sets of teardrop earrings. Um, one that was like a last minute purchase, and the other one that was a more nicer version. Um, I was on a budget for. An Elizabeth the first impersonation costume and the one thing that you see portraits of Elizabeth wearing are tear pearl drop teardrop pearl uh, earrings so um, I had purchased this one and the partner is right here I believe online and Right when I got those, I went to get more accessories for the costume, and that was when I saw these gold ones. Now, I've worn both of them, of course, for other performances, but these ones I thought were much better for the Elizabeth the First impersonation. So this necklace right here, I can't get it in full view, but this is as far back as I can go. That's basically how it is set for now. It's been with me since I can remember, probably one of my earliest pieces. Not the nicest or the most prettiest. It's like um, plastic uh, craft beads that you would normally get. It is from a flapper costume from the thrift shop Halloween sets that they normally sell every year. Um, I liked it, it, but I don't like the stone, so um, this is reaching its end of its lifeline because I just finished repairing it more than once and I can stand. So I might be getting a uh, black stone piece, a more better rhinestone or glass stone, very similar to this to replace this one. This will probably either be recycled or thrifted out like the necklace and the peacock brooch that I just showed you. But until then, I will wear this until it's finally beyond repairable or if I can find something much more better and unique.
Now these earrings are vintage. They're from, I think the 1920s, according to a friend of mine who gave them to me. Um, they belong to relations of his and he wanted to give them to me. Um, I was hesitant at first, but after he explained them, how they reminded him of me and he was insistent and he wouldn't take no for an answer. So I've had them. Now I'm going to set one down to kind of give you an idea of how they work. And I'll explain why I don't want to wear them. The reason why I don't want to wear them is because of the way that they adjust. You um, twist it out a little bit. And then when you get it wide enough, you stick it to your ear. And then you just twist until it gets to the tightness and secure that you feel is all right. But as I said, I feel hesitant about wearing these because I know my ears some earrings stay on me, some do not, so I will treasure these, but I don't think I will ever wear them. Is a brooch. It is a vintage brooch. Um, I do not know the name of the stones that are on there, but it is silver with this um, kind of floral vine design. The stones kind of look like um, Easter eggs with little spots on them, kind of like a swirly speck type of stone. I don't know what air time frame this is, except that it's vintage. I don't want to say um, somewhere in the 1900s, which I'm going to say between mid maybe. But that's what I was told. If you remember that summer brooch, here's a ring that basically goes with it. Um, I actually uh, had this ring before I was given that brooch, but I was about, actually about to toss this out or use it as a project for one of my dolls. But then after I got the brooch, I decided to convert it back into a ring. Um, because it matches the brooch so well. It looks like it's made for it. So I kept it and hopefully maybe I'll find a nice necklace to match the set. Maybe some earrings as well. The set of earrings I'm going to show you are um, Christmas themed. I'm going to show you the red ones first. As you can see, they're little uh, Christmas or tree ornaments. Um, I actually got these from a costume store. I forget how much they were. They are actually really nice. And they remind me of that animation about the Christmas ornament. Uh, it was a little red Christmas ball ornament that actually talked. And for years and years, he um, always loved to be hung up on the Christmas tree. And after a couple of decades, you know, the original owners moved out. And but they left the box of ornaments and the new family found him. And before they trashed him out, the wife of the new family um, salvaged him. And it's a really good animation. I forget the name of it, but I'm sure if you Google sure search um, Christmas cartoon or Christmas animation about a Christmas ornament, I so recommend it. Uh, and the second set, and we have another visitor, Josie. Sorry, Boo Boo, you gotta go. She is so insistent tonight. Um, the next ones are little silver bells. Um, these were actually part of a show performance called Eccentrica that was done by me, several others of a place that I uh, once volunteered at and it was a partnership with that place as well as the corn some students from Cornish it was one of my favorite plays and this these were one of the earrings that I wore that was made for, by a friend for that play and I like them because you know I can use, I use them for Christmassy because you know the song Silver Bells and they ring. They're act they actually ring. 
I would like to end this part two of the jewelry display video with this beautiful hair piece. Um, I use it to either give my bun some decoration or when I want to wrap my hair up, all I have to do is slide it in and then just seal it by slipping this pin in it. It's very elaborate. I've worn it probably twice and I hope to wear it more in the future. I can't wait to show you the rest of the jewelry. Um, we have more parts to come, but part three should be very exciting because we'll be going through what's left of the earliest pieces of jewelry to the newest. Until next time, goodbye.